Well, parts of the area have seen sleet and rain already today, and that alone is enough to cause trouble in the skies. Add the wintry mess in other parts of the country, and you've got a dicey Thanksgiving trip. John Gonzalez continues our team coverage now from Reagan National Airport. John? On the tarmacs at local airports, it is very cold and rainy, but it's the weather out west that has really hampered air travel, not only here, but in major hubs around the country. Hopefully it's going to be a non-factor is what I'm hoping. It's just rain and nothing else. The snow, sleet and ice, not to mention the frigid temps, come at a time when millions of Americans are traveling. 25 million will jump on a plane in the next 48 hours. Thanksgiving travel has been dicey and in some cases deadly. In the south, icy roads have already claimed the lives of at least 11 people. In places like like Oklahoma, whiteout conditions, and over 10 inches of snow. I hit a bridge coming over, and the car just went airborne sideways, and I was doing 20 in white knuckle with two hands on the wheel. Brittany Leathers is glad to be home for the holidays, finally, after an exhausting morning of delayed flights and missing a connector. 30 minute delay, and then we, I made me late to my flight in Charlotte. The Greenspan family is trying to beat the storm and head out to much warmer temperatures headed to sunny San Diego. Well, we pulled the kids out a day early, figured we uh, brought a little homework on the plane for them and figured we're going to sneak out and meet the beat the rush. Travelers here at Reagan National Airport arrived early this morning trying to make sure their flights were still on time and trying to beat this storm. But what they found was a lot of this on the boards, a lot of red flights delayed, some of them even canceled. And this severe winter like weather is wreaking havoc in as many as 33 states. I wish I could click my heels three times and be home, but this is pretty tough here. At Reagan National Airport, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News.